Hello, it's Miel Zankodo of Zen Buddhism Ireland. I'm here in Dublin and it is October the 22nd, 2016. And for some reason when I woke up this morning, I thought of Maura Soshin O'Halloran, the Irish-American Zen nun. And I had no idea that it was the anniversary of her death. I woke up with her in my thoughts. I had not read Pure Heart, Enlightened Mind for some time. And I just got onto uh, the internet and I looked her up. And I found out that today is the anniversary of her death, October 22nd, 1982. I then walked into another room uh, later on that morning and the first book that jumped out at me from my bookshelves was Pure Heart, Enlightened Mind by Maura O'Halloran. So I took it down and I went through some of it again. And what a wonderful book it is. And this all, all th these events of, of this morning come after my recent visit to uh, Minnesota uh, where I took part in the Soto Zen Buddhist Association uh, conference, which happens every two years, and where I uh, took part in the Dharma Heritage Ceremony. And there I met a man called, a monk called Paul Teshin Silverman. And I had a very interesting conversation with him about Maura O'Halloran, because he knew her personally in Japan. He practiced with her in Japan. Now, Paul uh, Teshin Silverman, Paul said to me that uh, she, that Maura had every intention of coming back and uh, starting a temple here in Ireland. And because of her tragic death in 1982, this never happened. And Paul said he had no doubt that, uh, that Maura O'Halloran would have started a vibrant Zen community here in Ireland. Sadly, that was not to be. Uh, with all the years that have passed since her death, uh, Zen is now taking root in Ireland, and I think Maura O'Halloran would be very happy uh, to know that. And uh, our Sangha, Zen Buddhism Ireland, um, has been going for about three years now. Uh, I'm the guiding teacher and founder of that, of that Sangha. And what I'd like to initiate is an annual memorial to our ancestor, Maura Soshin O'Halloran, to be held every October 22nd. And I think as one of the great ancestors of Irish Zen, and we have so few of them, uh, Zen has arrived so recently in Ireland, I think it is important that we cherish her memory and we honor her every year in, uh, in the Moro O'Halloran uh, memorial service every October 22nd. So it's 2016 and I'd like to uh, have a very short memorial service here for Mora in my home. Our Sangha sits once a week, uh, but it's not today. Uh, so um, let this be the first of many Mora O'Halloran memorial services. And I'd like to thank Paul Teshin Silverman for reminding me of uh, Mora O'Halloran. Uh, before I finish, I'd like to read a little something from her book, from her diary and letters, Pure Heart, Enlightened Mind. There's a statue to Maura O'Halloran at one of the monasteries uh, she was a student at, uh, Kanonji Temple in Japan. And on that statue there, the following inscription appears, dedicated to, to Maura uh, O'Halloran. Maura Kanon. A brief history. Miss Maura O'Halloran from Ireland. On the 10th of October in the 54th year of Showa 1979 at Toshoji Temple she became a nun and completed 1000 days of continuous Zen practice at Toshoji and Kanonji Temple. Her daily practice included three hours of sleeping in the Zazen posture and 20 hours of devotion to her studies 
in order to attain salvation, not only for herself, but also for all people. On the 7th of August, in the 57th year of Shoah, 1982, she was conferred an authorised certificate of enlightenment achieved. On the 22nd of October, on her way back to Ireland, at Chiang Mai, Thailand, by some traffic accident, her life ended at the age of 27. She's given the posthumous name of Great Enlightened Lady of the same heart and mind as the Great Teacher Buddha. Miss Mora has been a real incarnation of Canon Bosatsu to be loved and respected forever. We dedicate the Mora Canon statue here to her extraordinary memory. Nirvana Day, February 15th, in the 58th year of Shoah, 1983, by Tetsu Gyo Soin, founder of Kanonji Temple. This is inscribed in the statue remembering Mora Soshi no Halloran in her old temple in Japan. So, I will hold now a short memorial service for Mora O'Halloran, in which I will place her photograph upon the altar. This is the only photograph I have of her, the only photograph I could find today, and in which, in which I will read this dedication to her memory. Thank you.
In Buddha's diamond realm, 
the sun of wisdom shines without ceasing. The sweet sound of Dharma soothes every troubled spirit. Like a dra draught of cold water, with full awareness, we have chanted the great compassionate mind Dharani. May Buddha, with infinite compassion, illuminate this endless field. For our great ancestor and Dharma sister, Mora Soshin O Halaran, and for all those who have passed beyond this life into the heart of Buddha. May they, together with all beings, realize the end of suffering and the completement of Buddha's way. Bodhisattvas Mahal.